It is 1041 Singapore Hong Kong time. There's a look at where the dollar is standing at the moment against the Japanese yen 95.23 lower against the Japanese currency and uh, the euro down against the US dollar by one tenth of a percent. Darius Kolacek is chief investment strategist at CFC Seymour Hong Kong and he is joining us now live from there. It's good to see you there Darius. Uh, looking at the My stock pleasure. markets, it sort of seems like risk appetite is returning tentatively at least uh, to the markets. How is this playing out in your world for Forex? The forex exchange market has uh, benefited from improvement in investor sentiment, uh, albeit not as much as uh, equities, uh, because uh, in particular here in Asia, uh, we are sort of in a tug of war between uh, the rally in U.S. stocks on one hand, but on the other hand, concerns that recession in our part of the world will last longer than across the Pacific. So yes, there has been uh, a clear rebound in uh, most uh, emerging currencies in our region, uh, but I think it's only tentative and that we will see further declines over the course of the rest of this quarter and first quarter of next year. So what was your reaction when we got that industrial output uh, from Japan for the month of October? It was a dismal number. Uh, the Japanese data was uh, pretty horrible and uh, in particular on the production side as well as on the side of household spending. Clearly the second biggest economy in the world is falling into recession and a pretty deep one and my forecast is that the fourth quarter of this year will be the low point. Uh, however, uh, there will be further three quarters of uh, GDP contraction next year and 2009 will bring a 1.1 percent uh, shrinking of uh, their economy. So definitely a lot of negative numbers as the country is taking a hit uh, from decline in global demand for its exports. Okay and, and the, their interest rates in Japan are only 0.3 of a percent. I mean it doesn't look like the BOJ has a lot of room to move. What could their next options possibly be? Is it back to quantitative easing? Uh, I believe that they will cut rates again, not to zero, but to 0 0.1 percentage points. Uh, clearly, uh, Governor Shirakawa is very uh, averse to, to the zero interest rate level. Um, I think that they can do more on the fiscal policy side. Unfortunately, uh, the passage of the, of the next stimulus package has been delayed and now can be expected only in the mm -hmm. first quarter of next year, but, but which Dar is hitting Darius, uh, consumer if I confidence. Could, if I could jump in here, I'm sorry, but what's the difference between zero interest rates and 0.1% interest rate? I mean, really, 10 basis points. What's the difference of 10 basis points going to do? Is it purely psychological? Uh, in terms of the impact on uh, availability or cost of credit, uh, clearly uh, there is al almost no difference and uh, the difference indeed is very psychological. Uh, but in terms of uh, the mechanics of uh, money markets uh, operations, uh, there is always um, a smoother way of functioning if you have a positive interest rate level rather than just zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what are you expecting from the Fed uh, in December? I mean, the data over there has certainly been, been disappointing as well. Uh, U.S. data has been uh, pretty dismal as well, as anticipated, uh, and the Fed is uh, clearly determined to do everything possible to stimulate the economy. So uh, there will be a, another rate cut. We are going for 50 basis points, although there are some in the market who are expecting 75. Uh, but I think that um, there is pretty much no difference between them cutting uh, so low in December or maybe in January if they want to move again and they will definitely want to uh, leave at least a little bit of firepower in case the economy deteriorates further. Okay and, and getting back to this entire issue of risk appetite and investors moving back into equities, do you think this is the turnaround point that we've been hearing about for the US dollar? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. I believe that the U.S. dollar has peaked uh, as uh, U.S. stocks uh, bottomed out last week because uh, a lot of the uh, flow of uh, capital into the greenback uh, was capital repatriation by, by U.S. investors from abroad as domestic stocks were suffering. Uh, so now that uh, I think the low for the stock market is already behind us, um, the dollar will not see as high levels against the euro or the pound uh, as, uh, as it did recently. Uh, however, uh, a word of caution for the very short term, I think the recovery in U.S. stocks has run its course. It's, it's been, I think, too fast. So there is potential for some sort of 
tactical upside for the greenback. Darius, uh, excellent as always. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. That was Darius Kolacek, the chief investment strategist at.